rare as gold dust, prepare to be astounded by the value of this seemingly damaged Lincoln cent. This 1974 S penny fetched a staggering $9,000 at heritage auctions. But why did this business strike penny commands such a huge value and become highly coveted by collectors? It's because it's an error scent with an obverse die break and a retained die shard on the reverse, meaning it bears traces of two mint errors in one. Graded as Mint State 63 Red and Brown by NGC, this coin presents one of the most intriguing die break errors known to us. Not only does it feature a heavy rim cut on the obverse, but the piece of the die that broke off is actually struck into the reverse of this coin. The obverse cud runs from 9 to 11 o'clock and intrudes into the field by about 3 millimeters. Meanwhile, on the reverse, the exact piece of the steel die that broke off lies embedded in the coin above the Lincoln Memorial, with part of E Pluribus Unum faintly struck into it. Um, Remarkably, this was the very first planchette fed into the press following the fracturing of the obverse die. For the Lincoln Cent error collector, this coin would be the cornerstone of a fine collection. The chances of this exact error occurring are incredibly small, and yet, it is obviously a true error, not a delicacy created by a pressman. Welcome back to Coin As. Today, we're diving into a selection of coins, each sold for exactly $9,000. Let's start with the stunning 1950S Washington Quarter. Its high value isn't just about its beautiful toning or preservation, but also a tiny element on the reverse. Have you noticed the irregularity on the S mint mark below the olive branch? This is the popular guidebook variety known as repunched S over D, showing both mint marks over each other. A serif of the D is noted near the upper left of the S, and the curve of the D dominates the right border of the over mint mark. As expected, this variety is scarce in mint state and very rare as a superb gem. This coin is well struck, immaculate, and features dramatic sea green, tan, and rose gold obverse toning, making it a truly exceptional piece that ended up selling for $9,000. Imagine the thrill of discovering a coin worth hundreds or even thousands of dollars in your collection. Introducing the 1972 S. Kennedy half dollar double struck on a Jefferson nickel planchette. Graded as PR66 Cameo by NGC, this coin is a proof coin intended for collectors and not for general circulation. Weighing 5 grams, this error coin underwent a fascinating minting process. The first strike was widely off-center toward 10 o'clock and aligned with the collar die near 4 o'clock. The second strike was moderately off-center toward 4 o'clock and aligned with the collar die near 10 o'clock. From the second strike, the top two-thirds of the date is present and the mint mark is bold. From the first strike, God, Kennedy's profile, and, and, the eagle's tail are evident. A ghostly, we trust. From the first strike, lingers on Kennedy's neck from the second strike, adding to its uniqueness. This exceptional coin, with its intricate minting errors, was sold for an impressive $9,000. Here we have a stunning 1914S Lincoln cent in uncirculated gem gem condition. These coins are scarce across all grades, with many circulated pieces being marred by corrosion. Mint state examples are very scarce, and fully red pieces are extremely rare. Typically, for scents of this period, the well-struck ones often exhibit toning, while most red coins are a bit soft. This S-Mint issue is a crucial condition rarity. With only 4.1 million coins struck, just a few dozen survivors have made it to the MS-65 red grade. This particular coin displays full strike definition throughout, and its coppery surfaces are beautifully preserved. A single carbon spot occurs below the first U in Unum, um, adding a touch of character to this already remarkable piece. It ended up selling for an impressive $9,000. Have you ever wondered if that old coin you found is worth more than its face value? If you happen to have a Jefferson nickel dated 1961 in uncirculated and pristine condition, take a close look at the back side of the coin. If the steps, as shown here, are sharply defined and delineated, it could be worth thousands of dollars more. This is known as full steps in U.S. numismatics, which is a rarity for old nickels of this date. Less than 30 full steps examples of the 1961 Jefferson nickel are reported at PCGS, making them highly coveted by avid collectors. The present piece displays satiny nickel-gray luster and sharp, defini sharp definition of Monticello, 
despite metal flow lines in the fields from dyeware. It was sold for an impressive $9,000. This 1933 Lincoln scent in red, superb gem condition, is a remarkable find. Despite its relatively low mintage, the 1933 P scent is quite common in mint state. However, most were not released at the time of coining and later fell into the hands of speculators when they were released a year or two later. While fully red gems are plentiful, very few qualify for the highest grades sought by registry collectors. Most survivors are well struck, though a few may show some moderate dye erosion. This issue was always somewhat scarce in circulation, but the availability of so many mint state coins has kept their values in check. It's interesting to note that the Philadelphia Mint could have skipped scent production altogether in 1933, but it chose to keep its skilled staff employed until better times arrived. This CAC proven gem was graded as MS67 plus red by PCGS. The strike is sharp and the frosty copper orange luster is devoid of carbon spotting. It's a truly exceptional coin that was sold for $9,000. This is a truly remarkable coin, bicentennial quarter double struck on a clad dime. This means that a struck clad dime was overstruck twice by proof, 1976 S bicentennial quarter dies. The subsequent strikes have effaced the undertype design, but the diameter and reeded clad edge confirm the undertype. Between the two strikes from quarter dies, the coin rotated 100 degrees counterclockwise relative to the obverse, Washington side. From the first quarter strike, we can see Washington's cue within his hair, and on the reverse, the drummer's left facing hand remains from the first strike. This coin also has two small border splits at 7.30 and 10 o'clock, and traces of the copper interior are apparent along the reverse border. All mint errors are unique to some degree, but one would doubt that another rotated double struck and double denomination proof proof intention bicentennial quarter exists. This incredible piece was sold for $9,000, a testament to its rarity and the intrigue it holds for collectors. In conclusion, the world of rare U.S. coins is a captivating realm filled with history, intrigue, and valuable treasures waiting to be discovered. From error coins to beautifully toned pieces, each coin tells a unique story and holds significant value for collectors and enthusiasts alike. We've explored a range of rare U.S. coins in this video, each fetching impressive sums at auction and captivating the hearts of numismatists. The 1974 S penny with its staggering $99,000 price tag, the attractively toned 1950 S Washington quarter, and the 1972 half dollar double struck on a Jefferson nickel planchette are just a few examples of the remarkable coins that can be found in collections or even in pocket change. Whether you're a seasoned collector or someone who simply enjoys the thrill of the hunt, these coins demonstrate that valuable treasures can be found in the most unexpected places. So the next time you come across an old coin, take a closer look. It could be worth more than you ever imagined. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more content about rare U.S. coins worth money, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Your support helps us continue to bring you fascinating insights into the world of numismatics. Thank you for watching and happy coin hunting.